when the election results came in, the feeling that I had that day really came from embodying my fears for my daughter. I thought about what kind of opportunity would be there for her. I was really, really worried. It wasn't until a few months later, I went with my friend to the Women's March. It crystallized for me that we are in a moment in history. And we will look back at this time, and we will ask ourselves, what did we do? So 13 hours after coming home from the Women's March, I sent my resume, I said, I want to run for office. This is just phenomenal that we're able to get so many people here today. How are you? I'm Christine Louis Chen, and I'm running for state senate in District 23, and that's parts of Somerset and Hunterdon and Warren counties in New Jersey. So how many of you have ever canvassed before? Never canvassed? Okay. The last seat that was flipped in Jersey flipped by 78 votes in the last cycle. So the work that you are doing here today could literally be the votes that we need to flip the district. I'm a neuroscientist, and so we are really looking to do things differently in, um, in Trenton, and this is, this is exactly what we need. Nine months ago, I sent an email to my whole family saying, I'm gonna think about running for office. Nobody responded, except for my one cousin who said, sure, and I'll be your campaign manager. So we've assembled an army of volunteers to help us transition from your general campaigning to truly the get out the vote in these last few weeks. This is gonna be a tight race. I'm challenging somebody who has voted against equal pay for equal work. He's voted against a child marriage ban. He has this consistent record of voting against women economic empowerment, which if you want to see our New Jersey economy grow, you need to be empowering women. Yeah, I'm very conservative and people keep saying Donald Trump's not conservative enough. I, have, I happen to think he is. This is the year we're going to flip this district. I go door knocking every single day, sometimes twice a day. Oh, hi. There's a soft touch here for anxiety. Good. But as you move through here, this is a very red part of the state, and you're going to run into a lot of resistance. You know, <laughs> we've got to try, right? I want to win, and I want to be able to get up and say at the top of my lungs, here are all the things that need to be changed in government. And that's what's exciting is when we flip these districts, it's going to be a shot heard around the entire country. You guys want to feed Mia? Yeah. She eats apples, yes. We found that out yesterday. You got to tell her to come here. I also eat apples. Come here, buddy. You want to feed Mia? Can I have one? Yeah, sure. For yourself or for Mia? Today I'm a little tired because yesterday I walked 100 doors. That's a little, probably closer to six hour canvassing. This is a Chinese local newspaper. This is pretty exciting because I'm the only Chinese American running for a state legislative role and could potentially be the first Chinese American ever in the New Jersey state legislatures. I went to Johns Hopkins and I studied neuroscience. I was the COO for New Jersey's largest Alzheimer and dementia residential care provider. I forget what they're called. The hardest part about being a first-time candidate is not being able to have dinner with my kids. Oh, these are guppies, and these these things are zebra daniels. Sometimes I'll call my husband to keep them up a little bit later so I can sneak in and put them to bed, but I don't always get to do that if I'm canvassing an hour away from home. No, 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 no. Okay? You, you. That's the amount you put in coffee. For oatmeal, you just put a little bit like that. I happen to be lucky enough to have a job where I can work from home most of the time. So, you know, I'm here to pick up the kids or take them to after school activities. Okay, I'll see you later, okay? Bye. I'll see you after dinner. Okay. I love you. Running for office is frankly the most difficult thing I've ever done before. I've stepped away from my career to do this full time. My husband has been so incredibly supportive of this run for office. He had been diagnosed with 
a really rare cancer when my daughter was born. She was six weeks old, and I still remember, you know, being in the Memorial Sloan Kettering and pumping because he's in the middle of surgery. And then um, it, you know, reoccurred again a few years later. If you think about it, being a two-time cancer survivor, he's a walking pre-existing condition. So those are the things that really motivate me is making sure that people have affordable, accessible health care. This is a powerful way to get that change done is to be in the state legislature. We're gonna win today. I, I would just have a good feeling. Actually, the, the race is really, really close. Really, it's all about like trying to get people to vote today. Yeah, and we're uh, doing turnout. I know. Yeah. Go. So we'll give you these, okay. and then we'll take the other half. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Yeah. Thanks a lot. So, Peach cup. turnout is down mm -hmm. across the whole district. Okay. Do you know by how much? No. So, that's really not good. Well, let's get out there. I'll have my phone on me if you need it, okay? Okay. Love you. Love you, Snowflake. Hi, I'm Christine Chen. I'm running for state senate for the election today. I wanted to know if you've come out to vote yet. Oh, you did? Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. The race is very close this year. Okay. The last seat was, like this was won by just 78 votes. Okay. So your vote was really important. Okay. And I just wanted to encourage you to come out to vote if you haven't already. I already voted this morning. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Have a good day. It's an unimaginably good night for Democrats. Tons of people who ran for the first time because they, for some reason, have been moved by what has happened in this country in the past year. I don't think we're going to win. The numbers are not favorable enough. This is just so bad though, Kent. It's not even like you're losing, it's like I'm losing by 63 to 37. Which, which would have happened if you didn't even show up, like if you just put anybody on the ballot without campaigning or anything. It's so crazy. It's like everybody's getting reelected. Some of these districts, it's like 92%, 8%. You can't fight this system. I'm really proud of you, John. A lot of people here. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Hello. Hi. Numbers are terrible. Did you see? Hi, Christine. Hi, how are you? Good 
race. Good race. Well, your first time, yeah. so next time you'll get it. Vote by mail numbers for Somerset County. Oh, this is terrible. Well, you need to understand this. This is fabulous compared to what this we want. This is normally. terrible. Thank you.